Hey there, future casters. Doppler 10 meteorologist Jeff Booth here. We got something really neat happening in the beginning of July. On July 5th at 627 in the evening, the Earth will be 94,510,886 miles from the sun. Big deal, you might be thinking. And actually, it is a big deal because this is the farthest point that the Earth will be from the sun in its orbit. So it's actually a milestone. It's called the aphelion. And when you think about the orbits of the planets, of the moons around the planets, of the planets around the sun, you think they might be a complete circle and a perfect circle. They're not. They're actually more like an ellipse. And this is a look at a few of the orbits around our sun from some of our planets. Here's Earth's orbit right here. It looks like it's a perfect circle. It's not. It's just an ellipse. It's just not quite pronounced. It's not as pronounced as maybe what you'd see in geometry class, but it's an ellipse nonetheless. And so as a result, there are times when the Earth is closer to the sun. There's times when it's farther away from the sun, and that's what's going on as we hit July 5th. It is at its farthest point in its orbit from the sun, the aphelion. If you're ever taking a test, the way you remember it is aphelion, that starts with A. So does the word away. So A away. When you see the aphelion, it is away from the sun. And yes, there are times when the sun and the Earth are closer in their orbit. And actually, we're going to see the Earth's perihelion on January 4th of next year at 1.52 in the morning. That's when the Earth will be 91,406,842 miles from the sun. And this really underscores the fact that the Earth's distance from the sun has nothing to do with the temperature. What actually controls that is the tilt of the Earth. So just last month, on June 20th, well, we actually saw, or actually this month, June 20th, depending on where you're watching it, but we saw the sun directly overhead at the Tropic of Cancer. Well, that is its highest point that it will ever get in the northern hemisphere in the sky. So when it's higher in the sky, it's more effective at heating the ground, more effective at heating things up, which is why we get into our hotter months in the summertime, even though we're at our farthest point from the sun. So that just kind of underscores that fact. But yeah, the Earth's aphelion, it's coming up on the 5th of July at 627. Yeah, we're pretty far from the sun and this will be at its farthest point from the sun during the entire year. So enjoy that.